Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for 11 months, I'm excited to share some insider trip tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. As always, I'm all trying to help the free-to-play players to increase their value and time in the game. That's why it's time for me to speak about heroes, which I think we need to invest in in order to get as much value as possible. As you already understand, um, in the game there is not much legendary tokens available from the UNs to level up every single legendary hero or even awaken them. That's why it's uh, important to understand which heroes you need to uh, put all your legendary tokens. Well, if you will split those tokens to like every single hero, you won't gonna have even one uh, good hero peers with the legendary heroes. That's why, as always, I will try my best to explain why uh, those heroes are important and uh, yeah i will speak about every single legion type and i will exclude include every hero from every single type first of all as always i will speak about marksman because i'm a marksman main and uh, like it's important to understand that there is a couple of legendary marksman heroes uh, which you are tempted to invest all your legendary tokens but you still need to choose the one which you will be using for a long time, right? Simply because every season we are getting a lot of like at least five to six uh, legendary heroes. Well, it's have been like that in the past and I think it, it will be like this in the future. And that's why I think one of the best marksman heroes in the game currently which we have is Kinara. And we need to mention her skills. Uh, every skill which Kinara has is important because every skill is usable in the battlefield. Uh, we need to understand that peacekeeping and like stronghold uh, skills are not good for the PvP. Uh, like PvP is fighting against uh, real players in the battlefield. That's why you need to choose the hero which uh, has every skill usable uh, in the battlefield. So every additional level you're gonna add up to your hero will be important for you. As you know, Kinara has every skill um, usable in the battlefield. Also, she is quite unique because uh, she is more a damage factor style of marksman with a control tree. And if you will see, like her uh, play style is like more tanky, and also you are dealing a lot of damage with your first skill. Whenever you are speaking about investing the legendary tokens, we need to understand that. Awakening skill should be good in order to be it worth it to invest the tokens. So, Nara's awakening skill is really good. Uh, like, uh, Legion has a 20% chance to inflict defense break on the target Legion, reducing their defense by 20% for 3 seconds. Uh, 3 seconds might uh, sound like a low amount of time, but 3 seconds is enough to impact the battlefield. So, trust me, this is a great, great awakening skill to invest in. Also, one of the most important aspects why I think this hero is good because she can be used in a many different hero pairs, such as Nico and Kinara. This hero pair is more of a damage factor style. Also, like there is a great synergy between Nico and Kinara, uh, simply because Nico is giving us more damage uh, defense break and it's especially good against infantry heroes and infantry hero pairs. I have tested like a lot of times during wars, even against tier 5 uh, infantry heroes, I'm dealing a lot more damage simply because of uh, defense reduction, here is 15%, also if we're gonna awaken Nico, Nico has a 80% chance to deal additional damage uh, when there is a defense break, right, so like uh, in Kinara's way, Kinara is giving some defense break too, synergy is pretty simple, and uh, like it's pretty pretty good um, hero pair if you are playing as a marksman. Also, Kinara's another even better in my opinion hero pair is Hosk. Uh, but unfortunately, Hosk is only gettable for pay to win players. So if you are a pay to win player, if you are at least spending some money in this game, you will have Hosk. And Hosk and Kinara is one of the best legion uh, like legions in the whole game currently. You are having a lot of um, units uh, because of this Legion capacity bonus, 15,000, which means you will be a lot tankier than like in any other ways. This le like 15% like 15,000 uh, Legion capacity bonus uh, is a unique skill. Only three heroes have same uh, type of skills. That's why like Inara already have like at least two hero pairs where she will be great. Uh, that's why I think 
If you are especially marksman main, uh, you should be investing all of your legendary tokens uh, into her. Uh, so I did, like, as you can see, I don't have, like, um, high amount of levels on any of my legendary heroes because I'm free to play player. I try to awaken Kinara as soon as possible. I'm, I have left on really three levels on this last skill. I'm pretty close, but it's not that close. It's not that easy to get those tokens from the events because uh, like uh, that's the way game is built. Uh, there might be a question why should not we invest in Sindrion and one of the main reasons is because Sindrion's second skill is Stronghold and, and uh, only City Sieging which means if you will add the levels or here it will be pretty useless for you and that's why I think for a free to play player even one level is really really important and you need to feel the impact of this one level. That's why as a marksman main I would suggest to invest all the coins, all the tokens which you have. Uh, into Kinara. Uh, now I will speak about mages which have been one of the most popular um, unit types in the game even for a free to play player, even for a pay to win player. Simply because mages has a highest uh, range and it's pretty safe to deal damage whenever you are hiding behind your alliance members or you are simply just outranging everybody in the game. Uh, if you are a pay to win player you will say that Lilia is one of the best uh, mage heroes currently in the game uh, but I would argue simply because uh, uh, I'm a free to play player I don't have uh, Lilia and I'm not going to have it until she's only for pay to win players uh, yeah I can understand that one dollar doesn't mean pay to win player but for me it does that's why I don't have any other heroes here the mage hero which I think uh, you should invest if you are mage um, player and mage main is Welin and I will tell you why. Welling is used in almost every single uh, mage hero pairs. Welling is great with Waldir, like pretty simple. Even skills theme can say that uh, Welling and Waldir are like brothers. They have like a control style of gameplay. Welling is giving us a lot of march speed reduction, some shields, some uh, magic defense reduction, which is amazing, 20%. Uh, if we're gonna speak about purely talents, magic PvP control is nice. I would uh, uh, want to have a skill a talent on Welin, but it is what it is. It's more of like control type of hero. Why I suggest you to invest your legendary tokens um, if you are a mage player in Welin is pretty simple. Um, Welin is usable with Walder. Welin is usable with uh, Alwyn, uh, with uh, Lilia. Which means like Welin is good with any single uh, magic heroes. So that's why it's important to invest the tokens if you are mage player, right? Even in the future, if you will want to change the hero pairs, I'm pretty sure that you will be using Welin as a, one of the cornerstone of the mage legions. So that's why it's pretty simple. As same as uh, Kinara, every single skill uh, which Welin has is usable in the battlefield. There is no peacekeeping skills, there is no stronghold skills, and if you're gonna compare Welin to Lilia, I can understand that Lilia has way better awakening skill, but Lilia has a peacekeeping uh, skill, right? Like the damage dealt during peacekeeping bonus, which is pretty useless uh, for a free to play player and even for a pay to win player. You are not getting anything out of this skill, which means Lilia generally has 1, 2, 3, 4 skills which is usable in the battlefield. If we're gonna compare Lilia with Welin, in terms of that, every single skill which Welin has is important because every single skill is usable in the battlefield. That's why, that's my opinion, that if you are main, uh, maining the mages and you like to play with the range, you will want to have uh, Welin maxed out. That's why, invest your legendary tokens to Welin if you are mage player. Uh, the third legion type, which is one of the worst in my opinion, uh, as especially for a free-to-play player, it, is cavalry units. And there is like a couple of uh, obvious options on which heroes you want to invest in if you are a cavalry player. There is Emrys and there is Bakshi. The good thing about Emrys and Bakshi is that both of them can be gettable from the gold keys, so it will be... Uh, easier for you to mm, awaken them uh, but it will be still pretty hard right because like you are not getting a lot of gold keys you need to be lucky in order to pull the bakshi and every lot of times so it's there is still some struggle 
Uh, if you if you want me to choose between Bakshi and Emrys, which legendary cavalry hero is better to invest in, I would take Emrys, uh, simply because every skill which Emrys has is usable in the field, in the battlefield, and uh, for the Bakshi, you have a peacekeeping skill, right? And as I said before, every level which you're gonna add to the skills is important, especially for a free-to-play player, because you need to have see the impact by just adding one skill, right? And it, like you might be super unlucky and you might get a lot of skills um, added to the second skill. As you can see, I have say, like level two. I wish I had this like one level here or here, but I got unlucky. That's why whenever you are spending all of your legendary tokens, uh, you need to get the highest value. And I think Emrys will give you the highest value, not only because um, his every skill is usable in the battlefield, simply because um, in every single cavalry hero pair, Emrys is usable. Emrys is great with Bakshi, Emrys is great with Forondil, Emrys is great with Theodore. Well, Theodore is only gettable for a pay-to-win players, unfortunately, that's why I'm not gonna speak more deeply about Theodore, but... What we can speak about is Emrys, and if you are a cavalry player, I would highly recommend to invest all of your legendary tokens into this hero. You will be pretty happy because you will be using the Emrys with the future heroes, I'm pretty sure, because he's that good. He is mainly a damage factor, skill damage factor hero, trying to accumulate rage as fast as possible, so you will be using uh, the Emrys skills as much as possible. Um, that's all regarding cavalry heroes, they are pretty weak, uh, especially if you are playing as a free-to-play player, but still, as I promised, I will, I will discuss every single legion type which we currently have in the game. The flying units, if you are a player who enjoys the flying units, who enjoys the mobility and in general the concept of the flying units, I would highly recommend to invest all of your legendary tokens to Thea, uh, she is one of the most usable legendary heroes in the game, uh, and I will tell you why. Of course, if we're gonna compare to the Kinara, Velin, and Emrys, same happened to Thea. She can be sh her skills will be useful, well, like every skill will be useful in the battlefield. She is more of a support type of uh, hero, but the uniqueness of the Thea is that she is overall hero. Overall means that she can use every single uh, unit type in the game. It's what brings us to the next uh, topic, right? Uh, whenever you are using Thea, you need to understand, uh, like, you need to think about which faction you are. If you are Spring Wardens, then you means that you are using uh, Forest Eagles, which are cavalry units, and Thea and Forondil is the best uh, way of playing with uh, Forest Eagles. If you are playing with Wilderberg, you are going with Thea and the Craig. Uh, simply because of the weavers, which are marksman units, flying marksman units. And if you are playing with the League of Order, you are going with Thea and Atheus, which has been one of the most popular hero pairs in the game. With the Celestials, with the Mages, you are fighting with the range and you are dealing a lot of damage. Also, Thea will give you a lot of stats, like pure stats. Thea will go give you a lot of shields, so you will be tanky enough to fight for a long time. Now, I'm, I'm pretty sure you understand why Thea is so good, that she can be used almost with every single heroes, and if you're going to invest your legendary tokens with her, I'm pretty sure that you won't gonna be uh, wrong, and you will be pretty happy. Like, I'm pretty sure whenever new heroes will come out, like, we already know about one, Bertrand, which is flying mage hero, I'm pretty sure that... Thea and Bertrand will be viable option, uh, especially with the Celestials, right? That's why I think if you are playing as a flying unit and that's your main uh, playstyle, you will want Thea to be awakened as soon as possible. That's why invest all your legendary tokens. Now the last troop type, which is infantry, especially since the season two, uh, since the introduction of Goresh and Skolgul, uh, infantry heroes got way more popular and way way more people are playing with it. I need to mention that um, if you are not tier five player, I would not suggest to play with uh, infantry because you won't gonna deal a lot of damage, you won't gonna be tanky enough, and you won't gonna deal counter attack damage simply because you will just die. Uh, as a tier 4 player, it will be really, really hard to infect, impact the war and impact the, any feature of the game. But still, 
we need to speak about them and the one hero I think uh, which will be important for you to invest your legendary tokens is Madeline. Um, if the Goresh was uh, like gettable for a free to play players I would choose Goresh because he is that good. In general Goresh and Skolgul is the best uh, infantry hero pair which we have currently in the game. But simply because Goresh is only for pay to win players um, I chose to pick the Madeline. Uh, because Madeline has been the one of the best infantry heroes until the introduction of Goresh and Skolgul. Um, every skill of the Madeline uh, is usable in the battlefield and also the second skill, uh, the maximum legion capacity bonus, 50,000 more uh, troops um, in your hero pair is amazing skill. Only three heroes have this, this kind of skill, so that's why she is a great, great hero, especially for infantry. You are getting more tankier simply because you have more troops. Also, she is more of a fighting type of uh, uh, infantry hero. Uh, you are getting a lot of shields. You are dealing a lot of counter-attack damage. For the hero pairs, you will be pretty impressed uh, with, simply because you can play Madeline with almost every single infantry hero, such as uh, Madeline and Nika have been one of the most popular hero pairs since the beginning of the game. Uh, actually, you can even play Madeline with Skolgul because Skolgul is more of a, a fighting style of infantry hero and Madeline is the same. The newest hero pair for the Madeline is like Madeline with Garwood, uh, simply because Madeline is giving us 50,000 more troops. Garwood is giving us more tankiness, more healing, which means Madeline's Legion will stay alive longer and will deal more and more uh, counter-attack damage uh, during the fights. Uh, that's why I chose to speak about Madeline and not uh, Goresh and Skolgul. Uh, Skolgul can be chosen as a one, but uh, we still need some more time to understand uh, how Skolgul can be impactful without Goresh. But yeah, if you have Goresh, then I would highly recommend for you to uh, invest all of your legendary tokens uh, with the Goresh and Skolgul in general. And of course, if you are paid to win player, go for the Goresh and try to awaken the Goresh. Uh, you will never go wrong, like even uh, infantry rally and tank. Tank is like uh, one of the best infantry talents which we currently have in the game. Like for mages, it's a skill uh, talent. For marksman, it's precision. Uh, for cavalry, it's mobility, I think. And for infantry, it's tank. But, uh, unfortunately, it's really hard to get Goresh, that's why we get the second option, Infantry PvP Tank, same, uh, like, not same, uh, like, Madeline has Tank uh, Talent too. so, like, if you will invest your legendary tokens with Madeline, I think you will be happy, because you will be using her with almost every single Infantry Hero. Well, I think we already mentioned every single troop type, uh, for Marksman it was Kinara, for... Uh, magic it was Welling, for flying units it was Thea, for cavalry units it's Emrys and for infantry it's Madeline. As always um, I would be interested about your ideas, if you think I'm right, tell me that I'm right. If you have a different idea about the legendary heroes, share your experience because I like to have a discussion. Uh, I'm not the one who will say that simply because I said that it's good you need to trust it. That's why I try to explain from where I'm coming from. And uh, like, as I said, I have been playing this game for 11 months as a free-to-play player. I have not even spent $1 in this game. And by playing as a free-to-play and I'm fighting against tier 5 players, I gathered a lot of information and a lot of experience by myself. As always, if you like the content, if you like the videos, if you like the channel, press like, subscribe, comment. It always brings smile on my face and also um, I will be happy if you notice that I changed the mic. Finally I have a new mic and the quality of the videos might go up and yeah I hope you will enjoy it too. So far thanks for watching. Um, I will continue making more videos regarding Call of Dragons. In the future like in two weeks my kingdom will start season TI and there will be a lot more content available in the game. Currently it's pretty rough because we are just waiting until the next season will start. So yeah, this is all I wanted to say. Thanks for watching. Uh, enjoy your day, uh, evening or morning, wherever you are. Bye bye. See you very very soon.